Oh, you're a gem. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not sure if anybody's going to need the seats. Do you, oh. Would it be okay to put that it would totally behind? Be okay. Yes. What do you need? This is Scott's. I put my mask on.
hearts we come together to join in Shabbat worship and celebration. We are grateful for the opportunity to assemble together in accordance with our tradition to reaffirm our highest values as a community. We come together to observe this sacred day of rest in prayer and song. and We welcome back to Temple Mount Sinai guest musician Cheryl Brickman, who is with us throughout the weekend. We also welcome to the BIMA, Temple's President-Elect and Jewish War Veterans Post Commander for Maurice Covey Post 749, Scott Stevens, who is joined on the BIMA this evening by Temple Board President Stuart Schwartz and past President Sherry Schwartz. And we especially welcome all of you who are with us this evening, who are veterans of our armed forces. As Shabbat begins, let us recognize and honor those who make it possible for our soldiers to serve their loved ones. And so we welcome forward Bonnie Stevens, joined by her grandson, Jonathan Stevens, as we rise for the candle lighting and the blessing over the candles. Page two in the prayer book. Bless you, our Lord, our God, servant of the universe, who has hallowed the mitzvah commanding the candle. Amen. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech You may be seated. As we honor the opportunity to rest and reflect, we welcome the possibility of sacredness and holiness in the world with the words of Lahado D. As we sing together on page 20, we'll sing verses 1 and 2 and then rise to face the entrance to welcome Shabbat for verse 9, page 20. So I'll help you with this one, but I hope I can hear you singing back to me. Lechado di, likrat kala, benne Shabbat, nekabela. Shamor Vizahor Bidi Burechad, Ishmianu El Hamayukad, Adonai Echad, Ishma Echad, Vishemu Tiferet Baliti La Lecha Dodi, Ifat Kala, Ben Meshabad, Nekabela. Shabbat, lechu v'nelcha, ki hi mechor ha-bracha, merosh mekedem nesucha, sof ma'asei v'makshavat tfila lecha tadi, ikhat kala, v'ne Shabbat, nekabela. Shabbat, 
ושלום, עטרת פעלה, גם בשמחה ובצולה, תוך אמוני עם סגולה, בואו יכלה, בואו יכלה, בואו יכלה, לך דודי, לקראת קלה, בני שבת, לקבלה. for the call to prayer, page 28, Baruch Hu. together in Hebrew on page 30. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bidvaro Maariv Aravim Bechochma Poteach Sharim Uvitvuna Mishane Itim Umachalif Et Hazmanim Umesader Et HaKochavim Bermishmaroteham Barakia Kirtzono Bore Yom Valayla Golel Or Mipnei Choshech וחושך מפני אור, ומעביר יום ומביא לילה, ומבדיל בין יום ובין לילה, אדוני צבאות שמו, אל חי וקיים, תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני, מעריב ערבים. שמע ישראל, פייג' 34. You may be seated as we continue together. Vitam Kedoshim Lohechem 
Let us read responsively from the middle of page 39. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea, Micha mocha ba'elim Adonai, who is like you, O God. Thus it is said, Adonai redeemed Jacob from a hand stronger than his own. Praised are you, Adonai, for redeeming Israel. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ga'al Israel. So many of our prayers over the course of Shabbat evening, over the course of any holy day, focus on our desire, our need, our hopes, and our dreams for peace. On page 42, we sing, Hashkivenu Adonai, we seek God's protection through the night and to rise up in a world at peace. Of you. 
Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Baruch Ata Adonai, Apore Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael, Ve'al Yerushalayim. We begin our Amidah on page 46. If you are able to rise, please do, as we continue then on the next several even-numbered pages. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufiga gitehilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu 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 Continue together in a prayer for peace on page 61 in English. We read together at the top of page 61. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of every land. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Eternal One, who blesses our people with peace. Baruch atah Adonai, hamvarech et amo Yisrael, Shalom. We sing those words in Hebrew on the facing page and then take a moment for silent prayer and reflection. Shalom Rahaba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rahaba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki
this time to page 253, as we take the time to focus our prayers and our intentions, our attention, upon those who are in need of healing of mind, body, or spirit. Page 253, in the middle of the page, as I share these names on behalf of our community, I invite those who are with us virtually to share the names of those they are praying for, and then we'll invite those present to add to those names as well. We pray for healing for Donald Weinberg, Jim DeRoss, Lloyd Gerard, Dolores Spector, Angie Brockman, Brandon Fernandez, Adela Seaman, John Garcia, Mila Holst, and Bobby Brickman. To those names we add. Benjamin Yellen. Thank you. 
pray in song together, page 253. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. I'm proud at this time to welcome forward Temple Mount Sinai's president-elect Scott Stevens. Scott served 30 years in the Army. He retired as a Patriot Missile System Warrant Officer with the rank of Chief Warrant Officer 4. He had six overseas assignments and three deployments. He is not only a Vietnam veteran, but also a Desert Shield, Desert Storm veteran. Remember the Scud Busters? Scott was one of them. Scott is the Jewish War Veterans Post Commander for Maurice Covey Post 749 in El Paso, and also a member of the National Executive Committee for the Department of Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Oklahoma. Scott, thank you so much for being here with us this evening. Thank you. Rabbi, thank you for that introduction, and I am honored to be asked to come here and speak to you tonight. Uh, it's about Veterans Day, and then I'll have a few words about the Jewish War Veterans. Veterans Day is always observed on November 11th with speeches, parades, and religious services across the United States, and in many places the American flag is hung at half-mast. A period of silence lasting two minutes may be held at 11 a.m. on 11 November. Here are some other Veterans Day facts you may not know. It was first celebrated as Armistice Day on November 11th, 1919, which was the first anniversary of the end of World War I. In 1926, Congress passed a resolution for an annual observance. In 1938, November 11th became a national holiday. In 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed legislation changing the name of vet to Veterans Day in order to honor veterans of all American wars. The day is to honor those who have died fighting as well as those who survived. In 1968, the Uniform Holidays Bill passed by Congress which moved Met Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October. The law went into effect in 1971, but reverted back to November 11th in 1975 by President Ford because of the importance of this historically significant date. Now, something about Jews in the military. Jews currently make up 4.63% of the armed forces. Currently, there are 15,000 American Jews serving in the active duty and another 5,000 in the Guard and Reserves. That's quite a significant number when you consider how many Jews there are in the United States. And about the Jewish War Veterans of the United States, founded in 1896, 
The Jewish War Veterans of the United States is the oldest active, congressionally chartered veterans organization in America. So that means we became before the VFW, the DAV, the Legion, all of them. We were the first. JWV is dedicated to upholding America's democratic traditions and, and fighting bigotry, prejudice, injustice, and discrimination of all kinds. As a national organization, JWV represents the voice of America's Jewish veterans on issues related to veterans' benefits, foreign policy, and national security. JWV also commits itself to the assistance of oppressed Jews worldwide. We are an organization proudly celebrating our 125th anniversary. In World War I, JWV was essential to establishing the Jewish chaplaincy within the military. We also fought to include other grave markers in veteran cemeteries, such as the Star of David. I don't know if you knew it, but at, by the end of World War II, all grave markers in national cemeteries had the Christian cross on it. JWV led the fight to get that changed. Currently, right now, in North Carolina, there's a national cemetery with swastikas on the headstones for German soldiers that were brought to the United States and detained here. JWV is now leading the fight to have those swastikas removed. If you have served in any branch of the military or have a son, daughter, or other relative in the military, or just want to know more about JWV, please do not hesitate to contact me. And I would like to add one more thing. If you see a veteran you know, or recognize someone as a veteran, please thank them for the service, and don't forget to also thank their spouse for supporting them too. Behind every service member is a supportive family. There's a lot of things that spouses do in the military. We don't call them wives, we call them spouses. Uh, my wife actually led the family support group three different times, three different units. One time was while we were deployed in the Gulf War, Desert Storm, Desert Shield. And my wife was responsible to help out the enlisted wives, younger women. Before we deployed, we were working late, and uh, I came home about 8 in the evening, and there was a whole group of women in my house, and I'm like, what's going on? And my wife, typically, you never listen to me. I told you we were having a family support group meeting. Oh, okay. So uh, I found out that my wife was teaching these young women, 18 to 20 years old, how to read their husband's leave and earning statement. Then she was teaching them how to balance their checkbooks while their husbands were deployed. So that helped out the soldiers. And when your family is OK, then the soldier works hard and does his job. So thank you, Bonnie. Well, thank you for listening. And thank you to all those who have served their country. We're forever grateful and thankful for your service and sacrifice. God bless America and its servicemen and women. Thank you very much. Just to re uh, reiterate, you don't have to be a, um, a service, per, uh, a veteran or, or a member of the armed forces to support the JWV either. And I am a proud supporter of the JWV, though I was not um, a member of the Armed Forces. And you can support the JWV as well. I'd like to invite those who are with us who are veterans, if you would, and you are able, to please rise for a blessing.
May God, who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless all of you who have served our country. May you see and experience the fruit of your efforts, freedom, liberty, democracy, and peace. As you have gone out to serve and have returned home to the arms of loving family and friends, so may we also never forget those who served with you and who did not return home with you. You inspire us, O oh God, to love and uphold our precious country, to take responsibility for the freedoms and the rights which we cherish. Let us also be inspired by these fine veterans to advocate for justice, for liberty, and for dignity. Let us champion the values that make our nation a haven for the persecuted, a beacon of hope among the nations. May these veterans be blessed, dear God, with the life of peace and joy that they deserve. May they be reminded continually of how they inspire all of us to fight for the values we hold so dear, so that someday soon the words of the prophet Micah may be established. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, nor shall they train for war any more. They shall sit, each one, under their vine and under their fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. And so may God bless you and keep you. May God be present and protect you. May you sense God's nearness always, and may you know peace. Amen. On behalf of our community, on behalf of all of us, thank you. Thank you for all that you represent and for all that you inspire, for all that you have done, and for all that you continue to do. I invite all who are able to rise and join our veterans as we sing together a prayer to invoke God's blessing for our country. God Bless America, page 376. blessings that we have because of those who serve and who have served. We remain standing and turn back in our prayer book to pages four and five. As we lift up the blessings, we celebrate in gratitude the sweet and joyous things in life. Welcome forward two members of Maurice Covey Jewish War Veterans Post 749, Alan Goodman and William Lujan. Allen served in the U.S. Air Force for five and a half years, from 1973 to 1978, and was an E-4 Sergeant Aircraft Mechanic on Tactical Fighters. William served in the U.S. Navy for seven years and was a Navy enlisted E-5 Electrician's Mate Second Class Petty Officer. We invite William to read first in English on page four, and then Allen on page five in Hebrew. Mm -hmm. The heaven and the earth were finished, and all their array. On the seventh day, God finished the work that God had been doing. And God ceased on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because on it God ceased from all the work of creation that God had done. Yeah. 
standing, page 282, Aleinu L'Shabeach. Aleinu L'Shabeach l'Adon la Tet Gedula L'Yosef Reshit, Shelo Asanu K'Goye HaRatzot, Velo Samanu K'Mishpachot Adama, Shelo Sam Chalkenu Kahem, the Goraleinu kecho hamonam, vanachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, livne melech mache hamlachim, hakadosh barechu, v'neemar v'haya Adonai, Lamelech al kol haaretz Bayom hahu, bayom hahu Yehye Adonai echad Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo echad You may be seated. We look now to the names of American Jewish casualties of operations, Iraqi freedom, enduring freedom, new dawn, and freedom sentinel. Brian Kanoff is a fellow member of Maurice Cubby Jewish War Veterans Post 749. In fact, his daughter Lauren and son Stuart were bought in bar mitzvah in this sanctuary. A career photojournalist and commercial photographer, also a 12-year active duty and reserve career following his UTEP ROTC commissioning into the Signal Corps 50 years ago. Kanoff retired with the rank of Major in the U.S. Army Special Forces in 1985. And he will read those names. And we give also thanks to Andrew for helping us as well. Specialist First Class Daniel J. Agami United States Army. Sergeant Howard P. Allen, Arizona National Guard. First Lieutenant David R. Bernstein, United States Army. Corporal Albert Bitten, United States Army. Sergeant Aaron C. Blum, United States Marine Corps. Petty Officer Second Class Michael J. Brodsky, United States Navy. Petty Officer Third Class Nathan B. Bruckenthal, United States Coast Guard. Technical Sergeant Anthony L. Capra, United States Air Force. Sergeant First Class Christopher A. Salis, United States Army. Corporal Ryan J. Clark, United States Army. Corporal Michael R. Cohen, United States Marine Corps. Second Lieutenant Seth J. Dvorin, United States Army. Lance Corporal Mark E. Engel, United States Marine Corps. Corporal Mark A. Evanen, United States Marine Corps. PFC Aaron E. Fairburn, United States Army. First Lieutenant Daniel Farkas, 
United States Army. Sergeant Zachary M. Fisher, United States Army. Specialist Jacob S. Fletcher, United States Army. Specialist Daniel J. Freeman, United States Army. Specialist Douglas J. Green, United States Army. Sergeant Foster L. Harrington, United States Marine Corps. Airman First Class Elizabeth N. Jacobson, United States Air Force. Lance Corporal Jeremy M. Kane, United States Marine Corps. Staff Officer Second Class Matthew Cantor, United States Navy. First Lieutenant Nathan M. Chrisoff, United States Marine. Staff Sergeant James M. Malkowski, United States Marine Corps. PFC Gerbeth P. Noonan, United States Army. Specialist Levi E. Nuncio, United States Army. Corporal Michael K. Ormus, United States Army. Sergeant Robert J. Paul, United States Army Reserve. Major Mark E. Rosenberg, United States Army. Corporal Dustin H. Schreck, United States Marine Corps. First Lieutenant Roslyn L. Schulte, United States Air Force. Corporal Joseph W. Schultz, United States Army. Captain Robert M. Schechter, United States Marine Corps. Specialist Mark S. Seiden, United States Army. Airman First Class Matthew R. Seidler, United States Air Force. Staff Sergeant Michael B. Shackelford, United States Army. PFC Stephen Shapiro, United States Army. Sergeant Allen D. Sherman, United States Marine Corps Reserve. CW2 Joseph B. Sullivan, United States Army. Captain Benjamin A. Sclaver, United States Army. Chief Warrant Officer 3 Eric A. Smith, United States Army. Private First Class Eric D. Sofrin, United States Army. First Lieutenant Andrew K. Stern, United States Marine Corps. Captain Michael Y. Tarlovsky, United States Army. Staff Sergeant Peter W. Taub, United States Air Force. Private First Class Morris L. Walker, United States Army. Specialist Glenn J. Watkins, Washington Air National Guard. Sergeant Timothy R. Weiner, United States Air Force. Sergeant Robert M. Winger, United States Army. Specialist Jeffrey M. Worschlow, Florida Air National Guard. P Private First Class Colin J. Wolf, United States Marine Corps. Major Stuart A. Wolfer, United States Army. Sergeant Elia Tai Wa Wong, United States Army. Specialist Benjamin Ben Yehuda, United States Army. Senior Airman Jonathan A. V. Yelner, United States Air Force. And Lieutenant Miroslav Cyberman, United States Navy. We welcome forward, representing our country's future, member of the Franklin High School United States Air Force Junior ROTC Cadet, Jonathan Stevens, to read a memorial prayer for all of those who have served our country. Please rise. O oh God, full of compassion, grant perfect rest beneath the cover of your presence to all who have bravely laid down their lives for our country. Shelter them among the holy and pure, who are as radiant as luminous ferment. O source of compassion, bring them ever near to you, that their souls be bound up in the bond of eternal life, as are the souls of the righteous. And the work of the righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, 
and all flesh shall see it together. Amen. 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 To their names, to the named and unnamed who fought and died for our country, we add those that we remember as a community this week as well. They include those recently deceased, Dorothy Grodin, Joseph Metrican, Joyce Ehrlich, as well as the coming burial of Barbara Ettinger on Sunday morning at 11. In this anniversary week of their passing, we observe yard site for Abe Ackerman, Evelyn Axelrod, Larry Baskin, Esther Blumenfeld, Sadie G. Combs, Moshe Yitzhak Davis, Jeanette Fennenbach, Edith Fearman, Robert Goldoft, Fanny Sattinger Goodman, Howard Harris, Henry A. Heil, Henrietta Hines, Faye Kahn, David Quartz, Anne Louise Leeds, Roberta Leeser, Irving Lieb, Ray Summers Leonard, Jeanette B. Lindenthal, William P. Lipstedt, James A. Oppenheimer, Lena D. Oppenheimer, Frank Parker, Ethel Rod Piddle, Louis Reinhardt, Albert Rosen, Bruce Martin Rosen, Mar Morris Rosen, Oscar Rosen, Jack Rosenberg, Clyde Warren Stevens Jr., Rose C. Suler, Fanny Trogman, Maurice Zaltz. To those names we add. Along with them, we include all of those who have no one to say Kaddish for them as we turn to page 294 to offer the words of Mourner's Kaddish. Page 294. Yehe Shame Raba Mivarach Le Alamula Mea Maya Yit Barach Vish Tabach Vid Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shame de Kudisha Burihu La Ela Min Ko Birha Tava Shirata Tush Birha Tava Nechamata Dame Ran Bealma Vimru Amen Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shamaya Bechayim alenu veal ko Yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya se shalom. Alenu veal ko Yisrael vimru amen. Zichronam livracha, may their memories be and remain a blessing. As together we say, amen. You may be seated. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya se shalom. This time we welcome forward Tumble President Stuart Schwartz to offer announcements. Shabbat shalom. I'd like to thank uh, Rabbi Zeidman and of course uh, Cheryl uh, Rickman. Thank you very much for being here with us and sharing your music with us today. We so appreciate it. To Scott Stevens for uh, being not only a president-elect of Temple, but also uh, serving your country as uh, wonderfully as you have, as is, uh, so many people in our congregation have, and our, those folks that are here with us tonight, we appreciate your words as well. To Sherry, thank you for being here. And um, we had wonderful greeters, Nathan Stevens and uh, Lisa Wolf. Thank you all very much for greeting as well. Um, Streaming sponsors this week, the Zeidman family in memory of Howard Harris, Nathan and Letty Stevens in memory of Clyde Stevens Jr., Scotty and Bonnie Stevens in memory of Roberta Leeser, Clyde Stevens Jr., and in honor of all veterans. Bema sponsors, Glenna and Pete O'Gaddy in memory of Jeanette Finnenbach, the Zeidman family in memory of Howard Harris, Nathan and Letty Stevens in memory of Roberta Leeser, the Blumenfeld family in memory of Esther Blumenfeld, and our Kiddish sponsors, the Zeidman family in memory of Howard Harris, Jonathan, Matthew, and Jacob Stevens in memory of their great-grandmother, Roberta Leeser. 
Join us for Torah to, to study tomorrow, both in person and in Zalanka Hall, uh, excuse me, and in the Zoom room, followed at 1030 by Shabbat services, both in person and multi-access. Religious school will continue at 930 on Sunday. Upcoming events, Adult Ed is uh, returning again on Thursday at 1030 in person and in the Temple Zoom room. We're studying essays from American Jewish thought since 1934, and you're welcome to join us. It's a very uh, educational and informative session. Uh, next week, however, as a special treat on Thursday evening at 6.30, our very own Larry Leeser will, or Lesser, excuse me, will present Reflections on Shemitah, Money and Power from uh, My Hater Fellowship. It promises to be a lively topic and opportunity for engagement and join via the temple's Zoom room. Watch for more information in your email uh, next week. Shir Hadash is, is, is uh, in um, uh, preparing for their services as well, and, uh, and we invite anybody who might be interested in participating in our choir to join uh, this coming Thursday at 5.30. Of course, the Matzah Ball Gala is tomorrow night, beginning at 5.30. Temple is selling tables, individual seats, and ping pong balls. So please contact us if you have not already RSVP'd, would like to attend, would like to make a contribution, whatever. This is our largest fundraiser of the year, and we would appreciate your support. Save the date for Saturday, December 4th at 6 p.m. for vodka and latkes. More information on that will be sent to you soon. Uh, the Religious School, together with Child Protective Services, is participating in a toy drive during this holiday season. The goal is to provide toys to 1,200 children during the holidays. Look for more information in the coming days. The religious school will be collecting the toys during our Hanukkah family event on Sunday, December 5 at 9.30. And most important being that this weekend we celebrate and honor those who have served their country. To all those who have served our nation in uniform, we thank you, we honor you, and remember always your courage, your sacrifice, and your commitment to country. We owe you a huge debt of gratitude. Shabbat Shalom. As we conclude Shabbat services, we sing together at the bottom of page 330. Then we'll join together just outside the front door for Kiddush and Motzi. On your way out, I invite you to be sure to take a look at the presentation in the back of the sanctuary, um, perhaps to come back into the sanctuary after we've done Kiddush and Motzi to take your time. Really appreciate the Jewish War veterans and Scott Stevens for his assistance in making this evening what it is and what it can be. As we honor you, as we honor our country, as we honor the blessings that are possible for us because of the wonderful people who give of themselves for others. We conclude this service at the very bottom of page 330. Ma yafeh hayom, how lovely it is when we come together and celebrate Shabbat. If you are able to rise, please do. again. Please join us just outside the front door. And if you are able to carry your book to the shelf, that is helpful as well. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I take one of those Thank you so very much. I don't. Um, what did no, you? No, I know all of my mistakes, but.